Hi guys, Stephanie here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I got this look and we are going to look at fall foliage. Hopefully. Hopefully we find some good areas. We're right about peak so that's what I'm looking forward to. So if you want to see how to get this look and a few interesting little fall foliage tidbits, just keep watching. Okay, so we're just going to get into it. I actually pulled some leaves out of my yard. <laughs> well, first of all, because I love to take photos of them and I posted some to my Instagram the other day because they're so pretty. <laughs> and I feel like they're a pretty good representation of actual fall colors because it's fall foliage. <laughs> Makes sense, right? So I figured I would dig my Solstice palette out. That's the dupe for the Natasha Denona Sunset palette. Specifically because it's a pretty perfect representation of fall foliage colors. So this is what we're going to use. We're going to get through this pretty quickly because I want to go see foliage before it rains and washes all the leaves away. And I'm hoping to go to Stowe actually because it should be peak right now. Uh, when I'm filming this today is October 6th. They're saying that area is at peak. That's what I'm hoping for. We're either going to go there or maybe the Barnett Peachum area in Vermont, which is eh, 30 minutes north of me. So Stowe is quite a bit further. Ah, had to pop my nose ring in. I know. I'm, I'm a little scattered today because we're finally going to do something. So. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm going to first start off with the color Spring right here, which is a pretty neutral shade, and I'm going to swipe that all over the lid. Okay, I think for the next color, I'm going to go with this color Equinox and keep it pretty true to fall colors. And I'm just going to take that in my crease. I guess I am going a bit above my crease. That's more of a transition area. I think next I'm going to go into this deep red right here, which is Basque, and try and mimic that deep red. And I'm going to take that right here as well. That's really a very lovely shade. I like that color. <laughs> and speaking of colors, <laughs> I was actually looking into it a little bit because with the foliage, you know, changing color, some years it's really beautiful and bright and vivid and and other years it's not so much. So I was just curious and I wanted to see why that is. So I was doing some homework <laughs> and I guess the thing is like all year long the leaves have these pigments in them. There's like the yellow pigment, which is called a xanthophyll, and the orange pigment, which is called a carotenoid. Those are always present. And I know that there's a purple one. What is the purple one? They don't have it on here. Anyways, they're always present in the leaves, along with chlorophyll. But during the spring and summer, when the leaves are vibrant green, that chlorophyll actually is the predominant pigment and so it overtakes the yellow in the in the oranges and the reds as it starts to get cooler and the day start the tree stops producing the chlorophyll and it's basically cut off from the leaves so because the chlorophyll is no longer in production then that gives the yellows and oranges and reds the opportunity to basically show through thus you get autumn colors i don't know if you're interested in that just a little fun fact <laughs> There you have it. But they say that for the best fall colors, um, if you have a relatively dry summer and 
you start getting autumn nights that are cool and crisp but not with a frost and autumn days that are bright and sunny then that also helps with the showiness of the autumn leaves which we did have a fairly dry summer but we have gotten a quite a bit of rain this fall so I guess we'll find out okay and I think I'm gonna take the color Helios right here because this is better combination I think of the brown and red and I'm just gonna put that up here that is really a beautiful color I just love this palette the colors in it are so pretty <sighs> those colors you want to bathe in. <laughs> and then I'm going to go into this color Rays for the inner corner, just to kind of tie those all in. I'm just going to take a clean brush and just blend those. And last time I'm going to go in with this color Winter and just highlight the inner corner with that. That turned out very pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna go off camera and throw on some mascara, some eyeliner, some eyebrows, maybe some blush, and some highlighter. And I will be right back with the finished look. Okay guys, so here's the finished look. I just went ahead and put on some Benefit Their Real Mascara, and I went into my Aurora palette and put some of the color Lyra on my cheeks along with my Wet n Wild Pac-Man palette this color right here and my Clyde lip gloss yes I still use those all the time that Wet n Wild bundle that I got actually was a really good investment for me because I do use it constantly so there's a thumbs up right and I want to give you a quick update because I know that my blood pressure video was not the happiest video ever but went back to the doctor, had all my blood tests done, and I've been on high blood pressure medication and it does seem to be working. So everything else looked like it came up okay. So we're just gonna have to do more checkups and see the doctor more frequently, unfortunately. Not that I'm a huge fan of going to the doctor, but you know what, it was good news. So I like that, we're gonna leave it there. Now, On to foliage! Woohoo! <laughs> janky but you know what? it's better than walking in the mud I guess get swamp foot okay so we're in Stowe and we're heading to Moss Glen Falls which is where I ruined the last GoPro because <laughs> I wanted to get bubble footage but I just want to show you this because it's beautiful and I'm hoping to get some decent footage and hopefully there's some nice foliage down there.
Okay, so there she is in all of her glory. Now, in order for me to get closer for you guys to get a good look at the falls, I have to take my shoes and socks off and walk through that. We've been getting frost at night, so that's gonna be some cold ass water. guys you gotta check out this tree because this is what beavers really do in real life that sucker is going to probably go down by the end of the winter that's pretty funny <laughs> there's beaver non trees all over this area it's kind of crazy <laughs> all right guys here's another one beavers got a hold of this one is not nearly as gnawed up as the other one bunch of slackers they need to get to work and there's the dam that's a real life beaver dam so if you never see one before in real life there she is hopefully they don't come up and attack me for taking footage of their home <laughs> okay so yeah I'm in my bathroom <laughs> I want to take a shower we went hiking today it was warm so okay fun story you can always tell the people who live here and have lived here for a while as opposed to the people who don't live here and they're just up visiting for leaf peeping season because they'll wear like these massive coats and, and full boots and the whole nine yards. In the meantime, we're like, okay, I have a sweatshirt on and a pair of leggings and I'm sweating my ass off. <laughs> so anyways, it's time to get clean. But I had a great day. I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully we'll get out more. That's my goal or that's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye, bye, bye.